Okay, let's move into our chest muscles. So once again, cross off the innervation. I want you to know these as branch of the brachial plexus. So first up is the pectoralis major muscle. This is originating from the clavicle, your sternum, and costal cartilages that would lay below here one through six. The insertion is at the crest of the greater tubercle of the humerus. And when these muscle fibers contract, it is going to adduct, medially rotate, and flex the arm. And I'll be demonstrating some of these actions in class, but what I want you to do right now is stick your, um, your left hand underneath your right armpit. And I want you to flex your shoulder, okay, or flex your, um, your arm at the shoulder joint, and then adduct and also medially rotate your, um, your arm. So when you do this, you can feel a very prominent tendon underneath your armpit and anteriorly, and that's going to be the tendon of pectoralis major. And innervation, you know, is branch of the brachial plexus. I just wanted to show you, remember that the costal cartilages are those hyaline cartilage pieces that are attaching the ribs to the sternum. So the pectoralis major is laying right over these, um, these uh, costal cartilages, one through six. Next, we have pectoralis minor, and in order to see this, we had to cut pectoralis major out of the way, and we see pectoralis minor here. This is originating from ribs two to five, but you might see some variation in the lab. You might see three to five or um, three to four. It just varies with bodies, but this is the most common, ribs two to five, and it inserts into your core coid process. So because it's attaching here to a structure on our scapula, we know that's where our action is going to take place. It is going to depress the scapula. And I always kind of remembered this because I was like, oh, poor pec minor. It is just always covered up by big old pectoralis major. So it's depressed, hence depressed depression of the scapula. And innervation is branch of the brachial plexus. Next, we have serratus anterior. This is one of my favorite muscles. I think it's so cool. Um, it originates from ribs one through eight. So you'll see this muscle just jumping up onto each of those ribs, and that's what gives it a serrated appearance, like a serrated saw. And its innervation is the medial border of the scapula. So it's actually going to wrap around to um, go underneath the subscapular fossa in order to attach to that medial border of the scapula. So let me explain this in class, or in lab rather, on one of our skeleton models so you really understand the direction it's going. And based on that attachment, it allows upward rotation of the scapula, which I'm gonna show you what that motion is on the following slides. And innervation will be branch of the brachial plexus. So here's a nice little view of that wrapping around. We have ribs one through eight, or, um, origin here, and then it's going to go underneath. This is the anterior part of the scapula here. We see the spine, part of the spine back in here, and it's attaching to that medial border. So sometimes the scapula um, is orientated outward and backward when we have a weakening of the serratus anterior, and so we can call this a winged scapula. And the reason for this is usually we have some type of impingement or pinching of the long thoracic nerve, which is the specific nerve that innervates this muscle. So we have destabilization and causes the scapula to slip away from the rib cage. This muscle is really helping it to stay in place and also it'll allow us to do upward rotation of the scapula. So when we raise our arm, do it to, raise your arm to about um, the shoulder level, you will get a collision between your greater tubercle here on the humerus and your acromion. So we need to rotate the scapula a little bit more so we can raise our arm up above our head. And so when we um, sometimes have patients that undergo a mastectomy and their surgeon accidentally severs the long thoracic nerve cutting off supply to the serratus anterior muscle, the patient is not able to lift their arm up higher than the shoulder level. So we say at least they can raise their arm up high enough to point out that surgeon in court. I couldn't find a woman, so this guy is going to have to do.